Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Vertical Drop Heroes HD. So the last time we unearthed our lost episode, and now we are back on track here, and we have a rogues gallery to choose from here so damage is looking pretty good across the board health is looking pretty good across the board what do we have here for active abilities call hero ice age here on storm dusk on serpent dirk we have magic missile and red dragon and over on al weaver we have shield and confusion so uh, i like greedy and I've also not seen Call Hero or Ice Age yet, so I think I'm going to go with Storm Dusk. Minus 50% HP, Ma mana potions recharge all. Hmm, okay. I like the idea of that, and he has some sort of cool staff. I like the look of it. So yeah, here we go. Storm Dusk. Let us descend in to the fray here. So we've got a very nice amount of money. I think I am going to purchase a little bit of that and a little bit of that and that's going to spend pretty much all of our money so uh yeah let's drop here we go into the goblin forest it's a floaty jump just seems like this guy's jumping higher i don't it's weird <laughs> i guess i haven't played the game in about a week so maybe i am just not accustomed to its physics any longer so let's get in here and kill us some goblin spearmen. I'm not going to sign up for flight at this point. Don't need uh, frost or health. I mean, health is nice for five coins. Uh, I mean, we are pretty early in the run, but three HP. I mean, is that really that big of a deal? Hard to say. Hard to say. Uh, so we do have necromancer. So you can see our first uh, skeletal spawn there. Very nice. And what are you looking for, pal? Okay, some of my best here. If you rescue at least three of them, I will grant you. Okay, so he has lost some of his uh, best and most uh, heralded heroes, and we need to save them. So, uh, yeah, let's let's try to do that, shall we? As always in the first level, we like to try to kill as many things as we can. They've already set off this alarm and done some damage there, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, we will definitely save uh, this fellow here. That's going to be one of the three we need to save. I uh, can't quite get back up there. Oh, well. I mean, I guess we could if we really wanted to. I'd love to free that thief, but uh, we're not going to go that route. So we do need a key if we want to actually be able to free our third hero. And just so happen, there's a key right here. Another alarm hit will give us even more creatures to kill. And we will rescue ourselves a thief. Because with Greedy, the thief is basically a money machine. So we're just going to let some of that gold flow forth to us here. And that is our third hero saved. So we might be able to make our way back up here. To that old king. Who wanted us to save those heroes in the first place. And we can cash it in. There we go. 100 XP. Nothing to laugh at there. Basically got me a whole level. And we have no keys, so we will descend. And our skeletons, again, doing work. Always nice to see our skeletons being effective. And let's go ahead and trigger an Ice Age. Oh, that was nice. I like that. I like that. Made short work of the Goblin Warlord, or whatever the hell he's called. And, uh, yeah, well, just one more guy here to kill. I mean, we wouldn't want to leave him alone. You know, send him to Goblin Heaven with the rest of his pals. And descend, level two. All right, let's speed up the pace here as that gold trails after me. We are going to try to grab these pacifist orbs uh, for certain. So light, light on my feet. I didn't even set off that alarm. And flies. Couldn't get away from him. Archer skeletons, my bane. Oh, and flies. Okay, so this must be one of those levels where everything you kill spawns flies. Uh, it's your fireballs in all directions. You know what? Sure, six gold, why not? That's fun. You know, it did spawn like a million flies, but it's still fun. Hide from that fly down there. And we've got a skeleton who did a little bit of work for us. 
And still we are keyless, so we're not going to be able to take that chest. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, ooh, we lost a key over there. Oh, darn it. And now we've got a key. And now we've got two keys. So I'm pretty happy with where we are in terms of uh, strength of the character. Uh, the uh, one-hit kills for the most part, except for on the toughest of enemies. Oop, didn't mean to drop down there quite so far. Intimidated by those flies. You know, I'm a big, strong hero, uh, but I am uh, thrown completely off my game by flies that are going to do one damage to me. You know, can't be perfect. Can't be perfect. All right, so another challenge here. I wonder if this guy wants me to kill ravens. Okay. I took out a Quill Beast a while ago, so I need to defeat three more. I've already killed one Quill Beast. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to make it to find any more, but let's go ahead and call a hero. And we can grab a mana potion to immediately refill. I like that quite a bit. And we have spawned ourselves a minion. Ugh, was it worth it? It's going to be a key and a crate. Was that 12 damage worth it? Eh, another key, so yeah. We'll, we'll say it was worth it. I'll hang on to this to these keys. Not going to free that wizard just yet. Everything's just going peachy right now. Uh, we have a restoration shrine, so I'm going to go ahead and call another hero. And then an ice age. Because, you know, that's fun. And, of course, then miss our restoration shrine, but that's okay. We're doing pretty well, and because mana... Uh, refills us so strongly due to our magical staff of mystery. It's not really that big of a deal. And we are off level three, doing pretty well, actually. Really just cruising. Didn't get those quill beasts in the last level, but oh well. I think I'm going to avoid those spikes. Just get the kills I can get. Uh, really happy with the damage right now. Uh, absolutely no complaints. Uh, some of these guys are getting one shot. Uh, is it worth two keys to free a thief? Yes, it is. Uh, so I will take a thief as well as two crates. There we go. Work through these werewolves. All right, thief boy. Don't die. Don't die on me, bud. Okay, wasn't paying attention there. Got pushed off a ledge by a scorpion. Oh, well. Excellent, excellent. That was a perfect spot for that guy to drop. Uh-oh. A very timely level up right there. These, uh, these little hooded archers are giving me a little bit of trouble. So I'm going to avoid conflict and just try to get down to the uh, end right now and get to my boss. See what we can do here to take him out. Shrine of Frost, uh, you know, me and uh, Shrines of Frost don't have a very good history, so I will probably just go ahead and avoid that shrine altogether. Hopefully I didn't miss my gem. If I am, if I did, please, you know, yell at the screen. And there we go, Alpha Noel. I think we can uh, call in an Ice Age on him. And then with the assistance of a hero, we will finish him off. There we go. Oh, our hero is working overtime over there. Uh, not going to be able to get to that Restoration Shrine, but again, that's okay because mana potions do so much to refill us with this particular build that it's not really that big of a concern. And that's all she wrote. On to level four. Pacifist run intact. Uh, sure. You know, I have an abundance of keys. There's an awful lot of pacifist uh, orbs down here. Peace orbs. So yeah, makes sense. We'll get a wizard in the process as well as a chest. You know, all good, all good. Gotta love landing on spikes randomly. Shrine of Sparks. 16 gold, sure, why not? It's fun. All in fun. Annoying moving block. Oh, 
fire weasels. You flame weasels. There we go. Alright, not getting too much damage from those mummies, but uh, they do like to sp spawn those flies, so that's never fun. And one-shot that Magus. I'm pretty happy about that. So very often when these uh, little fire uh, wombats do appear, they do end up being a part of a quest, so I will go ahead and try to kill a few of them. And maybe as we uh, descend, we will bump into someone who will uh, have wanted us to kill three of them. And we've already done it. Uh, so I'm just uh, spinning these keys like they're going out of style here. But, you know, hey, whatever. There's a thief. I need you to stay safe, buddy. Come on, there you go. Stay away from those uh, horrible spikies. Right, my thief is just going wherever he pleases. He does whatever the heck he wants. And it's time for an Ice Age. That'll do nicely. And another, why not? We can then get refilled immediately and Ice Age one more time. Call ourselves a hero. And Ice Age again, why not? Why not? I mean, I have the power to rain down ice, uh, icy death upon my enemies. I mean, I'm gonna use that as frequently as I can. And we'll snag a key. Oh good, pull a diamond down to us, a ruby. That must have been from our thief. Glad we got that. And here we go, we are level 20 and we are headed on to level five, the Mushroom Caves, Plague. Fires three plague swarms. Enemies that are hit will fire additional plague swarms in random directions. That sounds pretty cool. That sounds pretty cool. I don't know what a plague swarm does, but I'm assuming it's going to be damage. If not, I'm going to be very sad. But it sounds like fun. And I am kind of at the point with this game where I'll buy, buy an ability that just sounds like fun. Even if uh, it doesn't necessarily look that promising, it doesn't look like something that's going to help me win the game. Uh, you know what? Sounds like fun. Good enough for me. Let's do it. Pull the trigger. Uh, another thief. Uh, that is a definite. Almost always willing to free a thief. Uh, in fact, I can think of only one circumstance where I usually wouldn't, and that's where he would get killed on spikes. And uh, didn't seem like that was one of those scenarios where he would get killed on spikes, but somehow he managed to trap himself in a corner and get killed on spikes. So I'm not too happy about that. I got a couple of gold pieces from him, but nothing to write home about. Uh, sure, you wreak a little bit of havoc. And uh, let's go ahead and call a hero and then replenish. So I like this build because it's very hero-centric, uh, obviously with Call a Hero, but the amount of keys I'm getting on this run has also made it uh, viable for me to call an awful lot of heroes. And uh, this has just been a really nice run, had a lot of uh, a lot of help, a lot of help on this run from my uh, NPC compatriots here. So uh, another key, another ally. He's going to shield us. He's going to fire random magic missiles into the darkness, and uh, I think all is going to be pretty well. Let's protect our wizard. Warping around, that wizard is on the move. Big Mama Fly, gonna have to take her out. Okay, everything is everything's going exactly as planned. I know it might look like chaos, but this is exactly what I wanted to happen, just 100% precisely. Uh, all right, so yeah, let's go down and uh, let's do a little bit of uh, culling of the uh, goblins here. I'm gonna take out Master Blaster and uh, get out of here. So let's go ahead and uh, just trigger an Ice Age. Why not? And uh, another, just for fun. Sure, why not? And uh, yeah, might as well call a hero. Get ourselves a nice archer. Gonna help us out quite a bit. Let's jump in there, finish off this boss nice and easy. Health's looking good. Everything's looking good. We got a little bit of uh, a little bit of damage taken during that fight, but not necessarily, uh, you know, not necessarily anything to be concerned about. And yeah, that's it. So we could uh, do a key exchange up here. Sure, why not? Yep, and that got our level up and got our health up, and we are on to level six of Crystal Caves, Crystal Caverns as it were. 
Uh, we're going to go kind of fast through here. Uh, not necessarily going to try to keep a pacifist run intact. Uh, if if I, you know, can, I, I will as long as I can. But I'm getting into that period where the enemies do start to outclass me a bit. And I, I want to get to the boss with as, as much speed and as much... Uh, as many resources intact as I possibly can. Uh, let's trigger an Ice Age, why not? It's all in good fun. We like Ice Ages. Oh, a Mimic Chest. I despise you. All that you stand for. Another Mimic. Come on now with the Mimic Chests. Alright, so something just exploded and gave me a nice, lovely ruby, and I'm not going to complain about that. Oh, yeah, it's the old uh, mother spider. Gotta love the spider. So I'm feeling death uh, approaching, and indeed, there you have it. Uh, yeah, so I feel like we're too far along to start another match, really. I don't understand the spider. I feel like the last time I played this uh, spider, uh, the last time I, I, I encountered the spider prior to the last uh, couple of episodes, uh, I just absolutely destroyed the spider. And now I just see the spider and I'm so intimidated uh, that before I know it, I'm dead. So uh, yeah, the spider queen is my uh, kryptonite, I guess. So I don't like that. Not at all. All right, guys. Well, uh, I, you know, this has been another Vertical Drop Heroes HD run. I'm still having a ton of fun with the game. I'm probably going to ramp up a little bit. I might actually put out more than one Vertical Drop Heroes video a week. Uh, that's what I'm going to try to do as I push forward to try to beat the game and, uh, you know, get this uh, get this notch on the belt and uh, move along. Having a ton of fun. Appreciate the uh, select group that is still watching. And I uh, think that's it. Yeah, it is. All right, guys. I have been Big Dave. And until next time, take it easy.